All right, good morning, y'all. Pete with Green Dreams here, and I just wanted to talk to you about this tree behind me for a second. So behind me, we have a Kariki olive. I'm 20 miles north of Tampa in Florida, and yes, we're growing olives. We have many different varieties of olives here on the farm. We have Frantoyo, we have Arbaquina, many different olives, and this is, you know, people are starting to try new crops here in Florida because of our citrus greening. A lot of our citrus is in major decline, you know, so all of these growers are rushing for their, you know, an option. We're looking for loquats, they're looking at peaches, they're looking at olives. An olive tree makes a, a gorgeous dooryard tree. This tree can last for hundreds of years. Looks beautiful in the landscape, has a nice silvery color, very airy shaped. One of my favorite trees in the landscape because they, they just, they stand out. They look different than everything else that's there typically. You can actually press the olives for oil on this tree, which is very common, or brine the olives to eat them like a regular olive. So I actually have a client that sells, or a, a nursery, a wholesaler that sells olive trees that are 150 years old, that are kept at 15 foot tall in large boxes with big gnarly trunks. I mean, so we're talking about a, a gorgeous long lived tree here, you know, great for the front yard, you know, maybe on a small scale, one of them, you know, would only be used for that ornamental value. But if you have a little bit more space and you want to plant a couple of these and grow them for the oil, you know, grow them to brine the olives. I would highly suggest it. I, they thrive here on neglect. We have no irrigation, no fertilizer. I've never seen any bug problems on these trees. Very easy to grow. So if y'all are in Florida and you're looking for an option other than citrus, I would highly suggest trying olive trees. You know, these, these things want to grow here. They're, they're very tough. They're very, you know, they're not needy like a, like a citrus. You know, with the greening problem that we're having now, you know, everybody's rushing to GMO, genetically modify citrus. You know, we don't need to rush and fix citrus. We just need to find other crops that actually want to grow well in this area. So I would say olives would be a great alternative to citrus here in Florida. Thank you all. Please uh, like, share, subscribe for more.